Are you wondering how to install the latest stable releases of Soul and Shader Patch for Assetto Corsa? Hey Sim Racers, in this guide I will show you how to safely and predictably get the latest version of Soul and Light Shaders Patch. Welcome to Highness and this video is part of a new series where I show you how to get the most out of Assetto Corsa with apps and mods like Content Manager, Custom Shaders Patch, Soul and more. Peter Bose, creator of Soul, the acclaimed dynamic weather system for Assetto Corsa, has released the latest version 1.1 Beta 5. Ilya Usupov, creator of Content Manager and Shader Patch, has also released an update to Shader Patch version 0.1.25 Preview 44. By the way folks, if you've experienced a lot of value from these mods, then do show your appreciation to Peter and Ilya by making a donation. I'll put links to their respective PayPal and Patreon pages in the description below. And also please check my pinned comment for any updates related to this video. What you'll need for this guide is the 64-bit version of Shader Patch. It will not work with the 32-bit version. Set aside about 30 minutes of time and you'll also need an updated version of Content Manager. Okay, ready? Let's go! As usual, let's cover the why, what and how. The latest version of Soul and Shader Patch brings lots of welcome bug fixes and improvements. Before we install the updated version of Soul and Shader Patch, let's perform some maintenance. First of all, let's download Shader Patch and Soul. Here we've got the link to download Shader Patch already open. I'm going to click this and also Sol. And while that's downloading, follow these steps to disable mods to prevent any conflicts during the installation process. So open Content Manager, go to Contents tab, Mods, and click on All. Now take note of the apps you've enabled under the Installed Mods list. This is so you remember which mods to enable later. Let's click the last mod in the Installed Mods list and then click Disable. And then we repeat this for each of the mods. Next we've got to delete the dwrite.dll file. To do that, right click on the Light Shaders Patch mod then hit Explore. This will open the Light Shaders Patch folder with File Manager. We'll click the up arrow twice to go to the Assetto Corsa root folder. So now we're in the root folder of Assetto Corsa. Look for dwrite.dll. dwrite.dll. There it is. It's right there. dwrite.dll. Take great care to make sure you've selected the correct file because we're about to right click this file and then hit delete. And that's it, that's gone. Fantastic. Now we'll install Shader Patch and Soul. Follow these steps to install the latest versions of Shader Patch and Soul once they've finished downloading onto your computer. So let's locate the Shader Patch zip file. In my case, I've got it here in my Chrome browser. And I'm going to click and drag this into Content Manager. The hamburger menu will start to animate as Content Manager processes the zip file. And once that hamburger menu turns, green like this. Let's click it and click the install button. There it goes, installing. Next let's drag soul install zip file over onto content manager and drop it. And the animation will happen again on the hamburger menu. Click the icon and hit install. And uh, what we're looking for is a message to say it's successfully installed for each mod. So Sol successfully installed and Lights Patch successfully installed. And that's it. You can click away. Follow these steps to check our new updated Shader Patch and Sol has completed installation correctly. Open Content Manager. Go to Settings. Custom Shader Patch. General Patch Settings. And make sure that the Shaders Patch active is ticked. Then go to graphic adjustments and again make sure that the extension active is ticked. Then go slide down to weather effects over here and again make sure that the extension active box is ticked. Then also we'll go to settings, Assetto Corsa, video, post processing so you'll have to scroll down to post processing and make sure that under filter soul is available and selected. And then go to settings, a set of apps. 
and make sure that shaders extension debug is ticked and activated, shaders extension mirrors is ticked and activated, ACC EXT rain is also ticked and activated, and also shaders extension weather effects is ticked and activated. Finally, we'll go to content, miscellaneous, and weather, and make sure that all the sole weather files, all the weather files with the sole in brackets, they're all enabled and it should be when it's enabled it should be in a, a solid white color and also make sure that the seven default weather files are also enabled and they are heavy fog light fog clear mid clear light clouds mid clouds heavy clouds and uh, yeah that's it anything else apart from that should be disabled it should have this kind of a darker gray look and to disable it all you have to do is select if it's if it is enabled you select it and then go to this button here will actually just like this heavy thunderstorm it'll say disable so this is disabled currently that's why it's showing enabled so all these non sole and non default weather files should be disabled finally it's time to test great now follow these steps to test drive our updated shader patch and sole so in content manager go to drive single select quick for a quick race let's select a kunos car and in this case i've selected la ferrari and i've also selected the nordschleife endurance cup layout set the time to eight o'clock 8 a.m change the time multiplier to 300 change the specific date to the first of july 1st of July. Make sure that the weather is set to windy sol. This is mainly just so that we can see some clouds in the air and some wind effects. And set the wind to 20 kilometers per hour. And then make sure you've selected practice starting from the starting line and then hit go. And now let's launch the game. We've got the version number of shaders patch on the bottom right hand corner here version 0.1.25 hyphen preview 46 and here we are we're right into the game as you can see I've got weather effects loaded here whoops I've just closed it let's open that again scroll down and there's weather effects and as you can see the time is currently progressing really quickly it's noon and now it's 1 p.m. and it's progressing really fast I'll step out of the car for a moment and you should be able to see the shadows as I zoom out and now we can see the beauty of the nighttime coming through and there you have it guys Soul installed. I do notice a bug right here where the speed 0 times x doesn't actually tell me exactly what the speed. I, I, I think I've set it to 300x or 900x just for the sake of testing. And uh, yeah, it's definitely set at 0 for some reason. So I'm sure Peter will see this video and uh, make some comment. Remember, folks, all the show notes and ways to contact me are in the description of the video. If you have any questions about what I've covered today, then ask me in the YouTube comments or you can reach me on Twitter or Discord. If you have any video topic suggestions, let me know in the comments below. And uh, yeah, if there's enough of a demand for it, I'll definitely spend some time and attention creating one for you. Thank you for your time and attention and see you next time.